في محاضرة اليوم بعنوان مال بوزيشن أكسبتو بوستيريال بوزيشن What is position? Position is defined by the relationship of the denominator of the presenting part to fixed point of the maternal pelvis. The fixed point of the maternal pelvis are the sacral posteriorly, sacroiliac joint posterior laterally, iliopectineal eminence anterior laterally, and the symphysis pubis anteriorly. The point in the presenting part is occiput in vertex, mentum in face, sacrum in bridge presentation. So, as we said, the position is defined by the relationship of the denominator of the presenting part to these fixed points in the maternal pelvis. In about 90% of women, in the late first stage of labor at term, the vertex present in the anterior, in the occipital anterior position. Normal position, when the occiput is in the anterior half of the pelvis, right or left or direct occipital anterior. In these cases, the head is well flexed, allowing the smallest anterior posterior suboccipital pragmatic and lateral biparietal diameters, both 9.5 cm, to pass through the pelvis. That's to say, when the head is well flexed, will enter the pelvis by the smallest diameter, which is the suboccipital pragmatic and the biparietal which is 9.5 cm. As we see here, this is the occiput, this is the sacipit, occiput, right, occipito, anterior. This is the symphysis pubis, right, occipito, anterior. Left occipital anterior occiput. Left occipital anterior. Direct occipital anterior. Direct occipital anterior. Malposition. If the occiput present in the lateral position or in the posterior half of the pelvis. This is considered as malposition. Malposition are characterized by minor degrees of deflection of the head and thus present a larger anterior posterior diameter, occipital frontal of 11.5 cm. That's to say, when the head is deflexed, it will enter the pelvis by the occipital frontal diameter, which is 11.5 cm. Right occipital posterior, this is the posterior half of the pelvis, here. So, right occipital posterior. Left occipital posterior, left occipital posterior. Definition of occipital posterior position. It is the vertex presentation in which the occiput and consequently the back of the fetus is directed posteriorly. Occiput and back of the fetus directed what? Posteriorly. Incidence. Early in labor, approximately 15% of fetuses were occipital posterior and only 5% at delivery. Positions. There are two positions. Right occipital posterior, which is most common. Left occipital posterior, which is less common. In right occipital posterior, the head engage 
in the right oblique diameter of the pelvic brim. While a left occipital posterior, the head engage in the left occipital in the left oblique diameter. This is right occipital posterior. The baby will enter the pelvis like that. Left occipital posterior. Look to the back of the baby and the occiput. Etiology Contracted pelvis as android and anthropoid pelvis. Anterior insertion of the placenta. Diagnosis First by palpation, the abdomen looks flattened below the umbilicus due to the absence of the round contour of the fetal back. The head is usually not engaged. The head usually not engaged. By vaginal examination Prolonged labor Bulging of the back for water, sausage or finger glove, premature rupture of membranes, prolapse of the cord, pelvis may be contracted, presenting part is high, anterior frontal is easily felt in occipital posterior. The easier it is felt, the more the head is deflexed and the worst in the prognosis. Mechanism of labor Engagement As a result of deflection, the occipital frontal diameter 11.5 cm enters the pelvis, leading to delayed engagement. Delayed engagement. The larger diameter associated with malposition is the cause of longer and difficult labors and more operative deliveries. Normal mechanism, which is include 90% of cases with effective uterine activity, malposition, deflection, corrects to a normal position with flexion of the head and rotation forward of the occiput. So the occiput touches the pelvis floor, levator ani, before the sensiput, which contract leading to a long anterior rotation of the head, three edges of the circle, bringing the occiput anteriorly, and the fetus is delivered as usual occipital anterior. Here. You will repeat. The head will enter to the pelvis and the occiput will touch the pelvic floor, the levator ani, before the sensiput. That lead to a contraction, contraction sorry, leading to a long rotation, three eighths of the circle, bringing the occiput anteriorly and the fetus will be delivered by occipital anterior position. We said that 6% of cases will remain face to pubis or direct occipital posterior. 3% of these cases, the head, what will occur, the head is descent and the anterior edge of brigma and nose hangs under the symphysis pubis, then flexion and the occiput is delivered what? by extension. Perineal laceration will occur. While the remaining 3%, what will happen? Obstructed labor and then cesarean delivery. Deep transverse arrest in 1% of cases. In mild deflection, the occiput rotates in 1 eighth of the circle anteriorly, and the head is arrested in the transverse diameter. 1 eighth. And then, what arrested in the transverse diameter of the pelvis and the labor is obstructed as in flat pelvis. Okay, in this case, in flat pelvis. Persistent occipital posterior in 3%. In moderate deflection, 
the occiput and the sensiput meet the pelvic floor simultaneously. The occiput and the sensiput meet the pelvic floor simultaneously. So no internal rotation occur and the fetal head persists in the oblique diameter and it is obstructed in android pelvis. Again, this is what an android pelvis. Management of labor. One of the following will occur. Either long internal rotation, three eighths of the circle, occur that in about 90% of cases and delivery is completed as in normal labor. Or direct occipital posterior face to pubis occur in about 3 to 6 percent of cases. The head can be delivered spontaneously or by the aid of outlet forceps. Episiotomy is done to avoid perineal laceration. Deep transverse arrest in 1 percent of the cases, persistent occipital posterior in 3 percent of the cases, here the labor is obstructed and one of the following should be done. Either number one digital rotation or manual rotation. We do either digital rotation of the fetal head or manual rotation. Or number two vacuum extraction, ventus. Or number three rotation and extraction by a forceps, by keyline forceps. But assisted rotational vaginal delivery carry a high risk of maternal and fetal complication. Or number four, which is safer, caesarean section. This we do it in obstructed labor, either digital rotation or manual rotation, vacuum extraction, rotation and extraction, or caesarean delivery. As you see here by ventus by negative pressure applied here on the fetal head. Or by forceps, keyland, which is called keyland forceps. Rotation and extraction. Thank you for listening.